<sighs> Xbox, will they fail? Provided they do not deliver on all fronts this E3 2018. Well, that's what I'm hearing. And before we begin the video, I want to address one thing. Make one thing absolutely crystal clear. Just because you, your best friend, your other best friend's friend, or maybe even your grandma says Xbox is dead box if they don't deliver this E3, does not make it the case. Let's make sure something else is absolutely clear. I am an Xbox guy, but just because I speak up on Twitter and ask Microsoft for certain features or types of games that I'd like to see, does not mean I'm being a downer or overly critical. You guys know 97% of what I say here is positivity. I simply want to see Microsoft be the best of the best in areas that they are not currently the best in. And that's the mark of a true pro consumer fan that wants all fans of the brand to benefit. So when it comes to E3 2018 and what they can do or what they have to do to stay afloat, <laughs> don't be silly, okay? For one, Microsoft just announced they pulled in over $2 billion last quarter from the Xbox division alone. Dull hairs, dull hairs, lots of dull hairs to buy, buy monies and things with. They also announced they had the highest engagement rate of any platform, according to Satya Nadella, Microsoft CEO. So when you pull un, unsubstantiated stuff like Xbox is failing or they're in dire straits or they're doing badly or they're gonna fail if they don't deliver on all fronts at E3 2018, out of your ass, out of, out of your asshole, you're a fraud. Stop it, quit it. You really have to start basing your claims in actual research. I need a link to that claim, sir. So now that we all understand that Microsoft are beyond profitability and pretty much always have been, I want to ask a lot of the people on this side of the fence that say, well, Microsoft are bringing in bank, they're making bank, this is the business model they should go with. I don't care about the games that I get. Now let me ask you, is that really an acceptable excuse to accept less? Are you getting paid every single time Microsoft sell a copy of a game or a Game Pass subscription or a console? No, you are not. Now when it comes to games, how are we being paid? Well, this year has been much better than last year already, and a lot of the games aren't even out yet. Now, Sea of Thieves, you know how I feel about Sea of Thieves. I'm not going back into that, but suffice it to say, a lot of people uh, aren't playing it right now. State of Decay 2 looks absolutely phenomenal. Love the first game, uh, and I cannot wait for State of Decay 2. Hey, what can I say if you're allowed to hype up Nino Kuni or Gravity Rush or Yakuza? I'm allowed to be very excited for State of Decay 2. Crackdown 3, if that multiplayer destruction works, if it performs as promised, that game is going to be on some next level stuff, but it's all very dependent on that multiplayer for me personally, not everybody. And you've also got, of course, unconfirmed, but practically confirmed rumors of Forza Horizon 4. Myself, I think they'll have something else in the pipes for this year as well, be that third or first party, and a bunch of new game reveals for this E3 for the future. That's much better than 2017. But at the same time, is it a crime to ask for more? And secondly, looking at that lineup, as excited as I am for some of these games, do any of them fit the bill for a Fable-style title or a Tomb Raider-style title? No. And I feel like Microsoft have all of the other genres down on lock. They just need that open-world action-adventure game that's kind of themed uh, with narrative. That's all they need. And I know they're working on one. Now we just have to play the waiting game. But when it comes to those using Microsoft's profitability as a shield against criticism, I just, uh, I gotta get it across again. Because some of you guys, uh, it's kinda like when PSN goes out and you don't hear a single Sony guy talk about it. Just because they don't wanna make Sony look bad. That's what this reminds me of. It's okay to admit the reality of the situation. You may have some third-party multiplats to catch up on, but I've already beaten all of those games. Millions of gamers like me have already beaten all of those games. They're waiting for the next batch. And yes, those are coming. Games will always be coming. We all know this. But is that any reason to divert, to get mad when people talk about the types of games they want? Is that any reason to make excuses saying services and, and bank is the way to go over pro-consumer 
Games. Games, games, games. So once more, we've had games. We will always have games. Third party is a big deal. Third party does matter. But for some people to then pretend like first party doesn't matter now and say, well, nobody said something when Sony did it, even though we all did say something when Sony did it, doesn't really make too much sense to me. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. This whole video has kind of turned into a clusterfuck of ideas because of the stuff I see on Twitter. And like I said, I like to counter a lot of stuff I see on Twitter uh, because it's coming from a lot of really radical people that aren't really uh, forward thinking. And I'll put a statement out there to kind of counter it. So once more, uh, same thing when it comes to E3, people overreacting, talking about Xbox dying at E3 if they don't deliver all of this stuff. You're insane. That's not the case. If visuals didn't matter, 1070s, 1080s, I wouldn't have a 1080 right now, right? None of this stuff would sell. That's what you gotta think. So visuals do matter, performance does matter. Games also matter. It's not that it's one or the other. It's all about the games, that's false. It's about performance and games. And fortunately for Xbox, most all games, every single one of them, run better on the Xbox One X over to PS4 Pro. They look better and they run better, usually with a resolution boost plus visual effects boost. That's a positive. But of course, now Microsoft had to double down and focus on those uh, narrative driven experiences. That's what I wanna see anyway. Get fans stoked for the brand and really innovate on that side of things. And I think this next round of Halo Gears games are gonna be phenomenal given they are taking longer with these than they did the previous ones. I am excited about that. I'm glad we haven't heard anything from Halo 6 or Gears of War 5, uh, things like that. I'm just uh, in the mind that detail takes time. And at the same time, I am not doom and glooming the Xbox brand like so many others out there. I have a lot of confidence in the brand. That's why I ask so much of the brand. So consider those words. For others that like this video, consider hitting that like button. It really helps the channel more than you know get the message and the train of thought out there if you happen to agree and if you want to support the channel and content like this on patreon for as little as a buck a month you can go there that link is down below i'm also giving away games like far cry 5 wolfenstein 2 star wars battlefront 2 and so much more so check out that link down below and of course for the rest if you like this kind of content subscribe for more i'm dealer i'm out